Hello and welcome to Wednesday's Words of Worship. I hope that all of you that watch this video are affiliated, associated, and active in a Bible preaching church. You know, one of the things that the church needs to continue to emphasize is Christ's imminent return and the fact that we need to be prepared for his return. In Matthew 24, Jesus' disciples asked him to tell them what will happen and what will be the signs of his coming and the end of the age. One of the things that Jesus emphasizes strongly is that of deception. He tells them to be careful that no one deceives them. He said, many will come in my name claiming that I am the Christ and will deceive many people. Now, Jesus also says that there will be persecutions and says that at the time, many will turn away from the faith and betray and hate each other. And many false prophets will appear and deceive many people. There again, he emphasizes the possibilities of deception. Jesus tells his disciples that those who stand firm to the end will be saved. You know, there's different reactions to Christ's return. His rapture, where the Lord will descend from heaven and the dead in Christ will rise and those who are still alive will be caught up into the heavens. You know, some people are completely indifferent to Christ's return. They don't really care. They don't take it seriously. And then there are others who become so obsessed with knowing when this is going to happen that they try to interpret every news story as a fulfillment of some type of prophecy. Knowing Christ is coming back should cause us to live godlier lives and to motivate us to tell others about the message of Christ. In Thessalonians, Paul warned the Christians about becoming complacent and idle while waiting for Jesus' return. Some of the Christians in the church decided that because Jesus was coming back, why bother working for anything? Paul said, we hear that some of you are idle. They're not busy, they're busy bodies. Such people we command and urge in Lord Jesus Christ to settle down and earn the bread that they eat. And as for you, brothers, never tire of doing what is right. While we are waiting for Christ's return, we're to share the message that God has given to us. We need to be wise servants, diligent and faithful. We have a responsibility to share the good news of Jesus Christ at every opportunity, not waiting complacently for his return. So how about you? Are you ready for Jesus' return? Have you accepted his promise of eternal life with him through Jesus' work on the cross? And if you have, are you warning others of the imminent danger of not being prepared? Hey, let's be careful. Let's not be deceived by false teachers and let's work faithfully until he comes. Hey, thanks for listening. I'm Kevin and I hope to see you again next week.